What's going on, everyone? Might go back with a mail day. Got a few cards I picked up recently on eBay. I have a gift from a fellow YouTuber, and then some cards coming in from a trade that I made with uh, a father and son duo here on YouTube. So before I get into that, I want to acknowledge that it is the anniversary of September 11th. Hard to believe that September 11th, 2001 was nearly two decades ago. Awful day in American history and world history. Um, I can still remember it clearly. I was driving to class and uh, heard about it initially on Sports Talk Radio. Flipped over to KYW News Radio, the big news station here in the Philadelphia area, and was just listening to it and just confused and shocked and got to uh, campus, popped on the, uh, the news there in the big room, was watching it and just it was insane to see what was going on, and then I uh, actually went to my math class, because a lot wasn't really known at that point, it was like, it was a quick like 40 minute class, and then after that I went right back over to the big community rooms watching, and just sat there for hours watching in kind of disbelief, and kind of, I don't know, just taking it in, I guess, like everyone else uh, that day. And I had a class like five, six hours later, which ended up being canceled. So I could have gotten home much earlier. But that was that was just a crazy day, a terrible day. But at the same time, while so many lives were lost and so many were affected negatively, um, we got to see the country come together. We got to see the courageous acts by so many that gave their lives. And... I don't know, it was it was just crazy, and I, I think it's important to always kind of think about it and remember about it, and think about how lucky uh, we all are to uh, live live in this country. People get down from time to time, and a lot of stuff gets talked about and things like that, but overall, we're all damn lucky to be living in this country, and at this point in time in human history, um, there's never been a better time to be alive in the history of mankind so with that being said uh, let's take a look at some of these cards we're going to start off with an Allen and Ginter autograph this is from the 2019 archive signature series Franklin Barreto of the Oakland Athletics this is on a 2018 Ginter nice blue signature picked this one up for a couple bucks had to have it for the Ginter PC did not have an autograph of Barreto at all and definitely didn't have him on a Ginter so happy to add that Pick this one up here. It's a relic card, which I usually don't pick up a lot, but uh, I know baseball collectors are a big fan of the Panini relics of the Hall of Famers and the old school guys. So I came across this Lefty O'Doul relic. This is from National Treasures, numbered 14 of 99. While I'm not a huge Panini fan, uh, specifically with their baseball products, I should say, and I'm not really a big relic fan, I will say that their relics of the old school players are just awesome. They obviously have that great old material, a nice selection of players, and it's something you really don't see out of tops very often. So Lefty O'Doul, he was an outfielder, played for a few teams, including the Phillies. So had a really solid career, really good career. I mean, he hit 342, right? So uh, came across this and thought it was neat. It was only five six bucks so thought that was a no-brainer for the collection so happy to pick that up got a football card here it's a 2001 tops drew Brees mint nine psa nine i actually had purchased another card and was just looking to combine shipping so i was following this auction grabbed it for 36 dollars i thought that was pretty solid price for a no doubt about it hall of famer on the classic tops card so, happy with the Drew Brees pickup. And the other card I purchased, I actually already had one of these, but uh, got this one in a little higher grade at a really nice price. It is off-center, left to right, but otherwise a clean card. It's a 1960 Fleer Hack Wilson. Big fan of the 60 Fleer set. I mean, it's not the greatest set out there, and this wasn't a playing day card, but it's the only Hack Wilson Phillies card that I've ever come across. So, in a mint, uh, near mint eight, I thought it was a neat pickup for the Phillies collection. A little bit of an upgrade. Hack Wilson has the uh, the all-time record for runs batted in in a season. 
or er, and uh, just played kind of a cup of coffee with the Phillies at the end of his career. So thought it was a neat little pickup. And then I got two more things to show off. First, this is from Up North Collectors. If you guys haven't checked out their channel, you should. They do basically box breaks. So it's a great place to kind of see what's happening with current products, uh, what you can grab. It's a great way to see how products are running. And, uh, you know, even if you're just a card fan and you want to check out their... Uh, channel it's great interaction mike and luke they are a father and son duo so it's awesome to just hear them chat about the hobby and do well i made a trade with them i sent something cool for their collection their way and they sent me some cool fillies out of some recent products so check out the channel up north collectors so they were breaking some stuff and they got a mike lieberthal auto blue parallel out of archives Blue is numbered to 25, the light blue, so that's cool. Lieberthal had a really nice career with the Phillies. The unfortunate thing for Lieberthal is he was on the Phillies from 1994 through 2006, the entirety of the Phillies' postseason drought. They made it in 93, and then they made it to the playoffs again in 2007. But uh, you can see he had some really strong seasons there, a couple of really good offensive years. Did sustain a couple of knee injuries during his career, which took away a few years, but... Won some gold gloves, silver slugger awards. He's a Phillies Wall of Famer. Really good player, and that's a cool autograph to have. So thank you guys for thinking about me. That's a nice one for the collection. And then we got some Phillies from Heritage. We got a purple refractor, Andrew McCutcheon. Got a purple refractor of JT Realmuto. Purple refractor of Bryce Harper. A regular refractor of Bryce Harper. That one is numbered to 569. Big fan of the Chrome Refractors. Here's a regular Chrome Harper. We got the, uh, I forget what the, the cloth parallel, the cloth sticker parallel of Bryce Harper. So that's another neat one there. And then a Bryce Harper action variation. So some cool stuff that I was looking for for the collection. Really happy to have them. So Mike and Luke, thank you guys so much. Bunch of cards that I wanted for the PC. Got kind of a whole rainbow of Harpers there, right? Real Muto having an excellent second half. McCutcheon had a really good start before getting hurt. And then a nice Mike Lieberthal. So thank you, Up North Collectors. And then the final card, this is coming from Jerome, a.k.a. Yankees Cards. Just randomly sent this to me. Totally was not expecting it. It says, pre-war vintage is king, and I am definitely finding that out. I've been having an absolute blast with the pre-war, uh, collecting Phillies specifically, lower-graded stuff. Just amazing how much is out there. It's, it seems like daily I'm finding out about some other set that I didn't know about. So, Jerome, who if you haven't followed his channel, is a Yankees fan, Yankees collector, collects Aaron Judge, collects modern, vintage, and pre-war, does it all, all Yankees all the time. I strongly suggest you guys check out his channel to see some of his awesome stuff. He hooked me up with this 1923 W5152 Clarence Walker hand cut. So really sweet Phillies card for the collection. Definitely not something that uh, Jerome had to do. Looks great. It is a SGC 1.5 fair. Looks cool to me. Old cards are supposed to be a bit beat up, and uh, this one's got some beat to it. A little corner action, a little creasing, sweet color, awesome card. And I'm uh, blown away by the just generosity there, Jerome. Love it. It's awesome, and it's definitely a set I did not have, and a card I, I need it. I want it, and I'm really uh, excited to add it to the Phillies collection and the pre-war collection. So thank you so much jerome yankees cards really appreciate it beautiful card fun mail day got a whole bunch of phillies action and then uh mixed in a little ginter a little relic and even a football card so thank you for watching let me know what you guys think down below and i will talk to you next time
Have a great one.